So, Rafa, congrats. Uh, can you say that was your greatest comeback uh, since it was a Grand Slam final to set to love down? <laughs> yeah. If we put everything together, uh, the scenario, the momentum, uh, what means, uh, yeah, without a doubt, probably have been the biggest comeback of my tennis career, yeah. Craig. Doctor, down two sets to love and facing those three break points in the sixth game of the third, what turned it around? What happened that you were able to come back from that stage? Well, I don't know. In that moment, of course, the situation had been critical. Uh, but uh, sport is unpredictable. You know? uh, and if you fight till the end, the uh, normal thing is to lose the match in straight sets uh, after that situation. But on the other hand, I had a big chance in the, in the second too. No? So, um, I don't know. Uh, I was repeating uh, to myself during the whole match. Uh, I lost a lot of times here, uh, having chances. Uh, sometimes I was a little bit unlucky. So I just wanted to keep believing till the end. No, I just wanted to to give me a chance, uh, and that's what I did. Uh, just fight. Just keep uh, belief on. On, on trying to find a, a solution. Of course, I was lucky to save that that moment. Uh, yeah, I have been a lot of uh, <laughs> moments that can can decide the final like this. No, and he has uh, a big advantage. And yeah, but I don't know. I, tonight was on was for me. Uh, 2012, 2017, uh, 2014, with the injury too, uh, I, I, I have been in that position a couple of times in my career here in Australia you now, and tonight, yeah, have been unforgettable. Uh, I feel very lucky, uh, but at the same time, I, I think I, I fight it a lot and I work it a lot to try, uh, to try to come back to, to the tour and to, to give myself a chance to keep playing tennis. Neil, congratulations. The Thank numbers you. now say that you're the best male Grand Slam player of all time. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like the best player of all time? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't want to change my, <laughs> my point of view, uh, honestly. And of course, for me, it's amazing to achieve uh, another Grand Slam at this moment on, of my career. It just means a lot to me. And of course, I know it's a, it's a special number 21. And uh, I am not, uh, I am not, I mean, I know how how it means, you know, and uh, and uh, uh, is a big significance uh, this title, no. But from my point of view, I I really believe that what I said all day, I I, I hold, no. I really believe today it's an unforgettable day, and uh, I never will say I deserve because uh, I think a lot of people fight and a lot of people deserve, but I really believe that I hold uh, a very positive spirit and. Uh, for the last six months, uh, I really fight it a lot to try to be back on court, no, and uh, <laughs> have been very, very tough moments, uh, moments to really <laughs> conversations, uh, tough ones, because you don't know if I'm going to have the chance to, to be back on the tour. But yeah, it's, I feel honored. I feel uh, lucky. Uh, to achieve uh, one more very special thing in my tennis career. I don't care much if I am the one or not the one or the or the best of the history or not the best of the history. I really, I, I honestly, today, I don't, pff, I don't care much, no. For me, it's about enjoying nice like to, like today. Uh, that means everything for me, you know, and uh, means even more to, to, to achieve the second Australian Open more than any other thing. Ellen. Your greatest comeback. Do you think this is the greatest achievement of your career, given everything you've been through? <laughs> the most unexpected, without a doubt, <laughs> uh, and the most surprising. Uh, I think for everyone, for you too, guys. I think, but for me personally, especially you now because I know all the uh, how I arrived here. You know? So uh, I don't know. I've been a very emotional night. Uh, even now, I am destroyed. Honestly, physically, I can't. Uh, 
think much. I, I can't remember a lot of moments of the match. Uh, but uh, yeah, the support of the crowd have been just huge. Uh, I I I got very emotional during the whole match. Even if I was super tired, I couldn't <laughs> celebrate with them as usual. Uh, but I, I feel it inside. No? All the all the support uh, helped me a lot during the whole match. Ben, if you saw anything change for uh, Daniil during the match, he was up uh, two sets. He had triple break point, and then uh, things obviously started going wrong for him a bit. And you were playing well. Uh, he was ha saying he was having a lot of problems with the crowd, and that was affecting him. Uh, did, what did you sense from terms of what you saw from across the net today? I don't know. Uh, I think Daniel is a great champion, and he accepted very well the the lose. I, I, I yeah, I just can't say thanks to him because it has been a very hard night. I think for him, uh, and I know how tough it is to be in that position after all the chances that he had. But uh, he he always uh, have been nice with me, and uh, he understood how emotional and important was this match for me and this title for me and he was very nice at the end of the of the match no i don't know if the crowd affect to him of course it's better to have the crowd on on your side and tonight was uh, crazy for me uh, but i really believe that he has a, a great future in front and he going to feel this love of the crowd in the future now because he deserves Simon. Uh, Rafa, you often say that you have to suffer to win big matches you know, with, with your foot and with the time you've been away, are you suffering even more than, than usual tonight? I was not ready physically for, a, for, a, for this kind of battles, honestly. No, I didn't practice uh, enough to, to be ready for, for it, but uh, tonight has been very special. I give it everything that I, I have inside, <laughs> believe me. I am, yeah. Super, super tired in all ways. Uh, I even can't celebrate. <laughs> uh, but it uh, was the day to give everything. You know? So uh, I enjoy it. I enjoyed the fight. I enjoyed the, the motions. And uh, at the end, have this trophy with me means, means everything today. You know? So uh, I can't be happier. And uh, I just want to to recover a little bit and uh, enjoy a little bit, yeah. Three more in the room, Catherine. Rafa, congratulations. Thank you so um, much. Just in terms of the foot, um, how painful is it? How painful was it over the latter stages of that match? Tonight, I was no pain at all. No, you know, I was able to, as you can see, I was able to run uh, without limitations. I don't know what can happen tomorrow, but I feel lucky that uh, that I was, I was able to play, uh, to feel free, to play tennis, to just play tennis, no, and uh, that's an amazing feeling. Uh, I know uh, things can change because, I, uh, as I explained the other day, uh, my injury is difficult to fix, impossible by the way, <laughs> but uh, but I was able to play for one month, and <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, something unexpected, something that gives me plenty of energy to to keep going, and uh, I just want uh, to enjoy this moment and, of course, try to keep going. You know, I I, I really enjoy it, the feeling to be back on on the tour, and I I'm gonna try to 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 follow my my personal calendar. I last two Stuart and then Chris. Congratulations. Rafa. Thank you very much. Um, You've gone from a position where one month and a half ago... Sorry, can you repeat that? You've gone from a position where one month and a half ago you had doubts over your career, and now tonight you're sitting in the court, you have the energy to keep going. Can you just talk about the confidence you've gained in the last few weeks to know that you can still play against the, the top players over the, the next months and years? Well, I don't know. <laughs> the things can change quick, no? but I feel lucky to, to, to have the chance to compete uh, that way for the last month you know, have been just uh, amazing for me, unforgettable. And uh, of course, after uh, after this month of practicing hard, uh, 
playing very long matches and uh, the foot was able to to hold all this stress. Uh, of course, I feel more confident that I I gonna have the chance to keep keep going, no, and keep fighting and keep enjoying uh, the this beautiful f sport. That that what make me happy in terms of <laughs> professional thing, no. So uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. I I just feel confident now that I I gonna have my chances to to keep playing tennis for a while, yeah. <laughs> Last one, Chris. You know, Rafa, you said on the court that um, to the crowd, you don't know how much I've fought to be here. You don't realize how much. S sorry? You said on the court you, to the crowd, you don't realize how much I had to fight yeah. to be here, I guess, in this moment. Could you just talk about the things that were the hardest part of that journey for you? And I'm also curious, based on the fact that this was such an important match tonight, is part of you in some way glad that it was so difficult and so incredible as a match and it was such a fitting moment in a lot of ways for the end of the journey there? Well, talking about the match, of course, uh, <laughs> at the end for the history is about the victory, you know, but the way that you win the match uh, in terms of uh, personal feelings <laughs> is different, you no? Know? and the way that I, I, I achieved this trophy uh, tonight. Uh, have been just unforgettable. No, one of the most emotional matches of my tennis career, without, without a doubt, uh, means a lot to me. And can you repeat the beginning? Sort of the hardest parts of what you went through. Well, I, I always say the same. No, uh, when you when you turn an ankle, when you break the wrist, uh, you have a calendar, you know, and that's much easier to to accept. I, I went through this process a couple of times in my career, and you know that uh, you're gonna have four months off, and you have a calendar to follow, and that's uh, that's it. personally my feeling is much easier to accept because every week you do a different thing and you see the improvements, and and you know that after this period of time the normal thing is you're gonna be fine. No, <laughs> my position is completely different. You know, I I I just where we were trying things. Uh, uh, and for a, for a long period of time without uh, any success, with zero success, you know, and uh, <laughs> after all the things that I went through <laughs> all my career, and uh, of course, uh, at my age, um, the doubts are there, and uh, knowing that you have an injury that is not, <laughs> you can't, <laughs> you can't recover from that, uh, of course, the doubts are there, and that's, Mentally, it's much tougher, and uh, in terms of going every day on the gym, on the recover, on the swimming pool, on on the practice court, and not be able to do the things that you really need to do to try to be back for such a long time. Yeah, it's it's tough and it's painful, and uh, mentally sometimes it's a heartbreaker, no? And uh, hold the spirit, hold the working. Uh, the working discipline uh, every single day, I think, make it a, a big difference for me. And I, I feel very lucky that I have a great team next to me that supported all the time. I have been uh, there uh, more sometimes like a friend than like a team. And I had a, a great family always no, next to me in the in the good and especially in the low moments. No, that without them, I, I will not be here. We have time for two online English questions. Our first one, Simon Cambers, the Glasgow Herald. You're on mute, Simon. There you go. Hello, Rafa, congratulations. Hello, um, thank you. you. You looked as happy at the end there as you have, you know, when you won your first Grand Slam title. I just wonder how you managed to keep that joy going all the way through and, and how much confidence it gives you now looking forward to the clay? I don't know. I even don't think about clay now. <laughs> but uh, I have been more emotional than the first one. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. No. Uh, I don't know. I, I At latest stages of your career, I think you are able to enjoy more these moments now because uh, you know that... Uh, the chances are less, you know, when you have 19, uh, when I achieved the first. Of course, it's super special, but you know that if you are playing well and uh, you want, you're going to keep having chances to, to enjoy moments. No, uh, Today, you never know what, what can happen. 
so yeah, I mm, of course I'm proud and uh, the personal satisfaction is uh, higher than than years ago. No, so I just uh, I think stay more in the moment without thinking. Uh, so so far in front. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't know what can happen on clay or not. I have uh, hopefully some events before clay and just enjoying this moment, try to be back home and uh, share with the family this uh, this unforgettable moment. And then I'm going to think about what's next for me. And we'll take our final English question, Reem Abelel from The National. Hi, Rafa, congratulations. Thank you, Reem. Given, ev given everything that you've told us and the difficulties and all that, what do you think are the biggest reasons that you were able to achieve this achievement? What has carried you through this process to, to, to win another Australian Open? Love for the game, passion, uh, positive attitude and uh, working spirit. Uh, that's, that's all. No, and, uh, and the right people next to me helping every single day. I think that's, that's all.